Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's an honor. Always greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you. Whereby I'm pointing you to look in order to discover that your real identity is your divinity. That's why I want to speak to you concerning an inner eruption of self. Okay? And as we all know, Abdullah the Black Mystic from Ethiopia, he was Neville Gala's mentor and he taught Neville Gala the law. And then Neville claim that he would have experienced the promise sometime later, which is 26 years later, okay, in 1959. And I'm saying to you, I would have had that same inner experience, which is an inner eruption of self. And that is what I really want to talk to you about, knowing that right now in my island, we are facing a volcanic eruption and it's an ongoing volcanic eruption. And just as you see the things that are coming from the core of the earth, all of that is to show you your body is connected with the earth and everything that's in the earth is in your body. And there comes a time that there will be renewing of the earth, but that renewing must take place naturally. Okay, there mustn't be any man-made thing to it. It must take place naturally. So I'm speaking from a natural standpoint of a volcanic eruption that takes place within man also. And as the people in this island would have looked and seen the lightning and so on from coming from the volcano, showing us of our electrical self, showing us of our magnetic self, showing us of the elements, earth, wind, water, fire. All of these things was coming from the volcano. There was the water, okay? There was the, the fire, there was the ash, and there was the, the wind also, which is known as the, you know, the pyroclastic flow, okay? All of that was taking place. And when you look more deeply and you understand that God is man, is man imagination, as Abdullah would have thought, never got it, you will realize that when you use your imagination to create your reality, that is just a part of the great experience because it is to lift your faith and your awareness that the creator is in you. But what you want is the resurrection of the creator that is in you which is actually an imagination awakening, a, a, an awakening imagination. And it would bring a renewing and it would destroy things from its part also, just as a volcano, when it erupts from within the core of the earth, it removes everything that is in its path. So too we have to remove all the negative programming of mental slavery when this takes place because it's the new birth which is the birth from the skull and so this inner eruption that Neville speak about that takes place in man we are seeing it in the earth also in the time of the great awakening and so people are saying volcanoes are erupting everywhere and so on. There's all tremors and they're shaking because I, I forget what to mention the many earthquakes that would have felt on this island also. But all of this are symbolizing and showing us the great awakening, the birth from the skull. We are seeing that these things are taking place at the, the, the high peak of the islands, which, you know, the highest peak in our island is actually the volcano. Okay, and this is our higher peak. That is why it doesn't go to, you know, give this for any and everyone to control. Because they're going to drill their, their philosophy into your mind. Okay, and you have to get rid of their philosophy out of your mind. And we see that when Abdullah was teaching Neville Garden the truth about the Bible and the truth about imagination, it was bringing a cleansing, it was bringing a purging, and that was taking place from within. And then in 1959, Neville claimed that he had this great and mighty eruption. Okay? 
And I remember when I had my mighty eruption, and in my mighty eruption, it started with that great and mighty shaking, that great earthquake. Okay, and I heard that great and mighty wind, that mighty rushing wind. Okay, and all of that took place when the energy of the base of my spine come together, that blue light, okay, and that uh, golden light. When they come together in a marriage, and there I awake and had that inner eruption of self. And that's where I ascend like a fiery being after the opening of an eye, just a, a giant eye in man. And when that eye opened, then I understand where it is said that you shall change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye. I realize that twinkling of an eye is an opening of an eye where you're having uh, an awakened imagination, which is actually being awakened from the dream of life. So when I awake and I ascend like a fire being, I change into another form. Okay, now it was not physical anymore. Okay. And I had an innate ability to push myself, okay, and come out of my skull with part of myself still in my skull and taking my hand, my spiritual hand, and pulling myself out and then becomes totally invisible. Look back to see and saw nothing, but I became pure consciousness. Pure consciousness, okay? So this inner eruption is to bring us to our God self, our higher self, for us to realize that we must come from spirit and descend into humanity and have a human experience, but we must ascend and come back into our divinity. Okay, so the journey of life is from humanity to divinity. There's a descension and there's an ascension. So this ascension takes place in terms of an inner eruption. And that, as I would have said before, that inner eruption is an eruption of self. So my brother and my sisters, that's why it is very important to start out with self and realizing that there's no one to change but self. Also, it is very important for you to know that God in man is actually the self of man. And that is why the Bible says that you must love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, thy strength, and thy might, and thy neighbor as thyself, because God is the self of man. So many people who vibrate towards the teaching of Neville Gallant, many are vibrating towards the law where it teaches you how to use your imagination to get things in this world. That, that is good. But you have to all be reminded that you have to seek first the kingdom of God is righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Which means I'm saying to, saying to you to know yourself first. Know that the kingdom of God is within you and seek for that inner eruption to take place so there will be a total renewing. And it is through this experience also that would have come to realize that the greatest lie that have been ever fed to humanity is the Jesus and Mary story where it's been fed to the masses as literal and as secular history and believe that a woman gave birth downward okay from down below but it's a birth from above it's a birth from the skull and St. John chapter 3 give you the, the, the secret of this great inner eruption of self and that is why this great mystery it can never be known intellectually it must be experience so my brother and my sisters have the desire for that great eruption that takes place within man have a great desire to know who you are have a great desire to get in touch with your spirit self because you are to know by experience that you are a spirit having a human experience Okay, so as I would have mentioned before, all these little things about manifesting and so on, all these are just to ease the blows of life that you have to face. You know, you have to face the wall of Caesar with all of their taxes and so on. So it is to apply the creative power that is within to ease the blows. But the main thing, okay, is, a, is about awakening. The main thing is... Uh, the resurrection okay waking out of the sleep 
and coming to know that this life is all but a dream and you must wake up out of this dream. So, my brother and my sisters, as I would have said before, many people are following the teaching of Neville Garden, but this whole teachings of Neville Garden, it goes all the way back to ancient Kemet and also to ancient African spirituality. And that is why our ancestors have been always saying to us, man, know thyself. And would have always taught us to look inwardly to discover that our, our real identity is our divinity. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I really, really want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I, I want to say, if what I'm saying, it makes sense to you and you would like to have an inner eruption experience, I would like to say to you, you are here right now listening to me, you are on the right path because you are listening to someone who would have had that experience. And when you understand the divine law of reproduction that every seed and every species must reproduce after its own kind, what I'm saying to you, if you are receiving what I am saying, it is quite possible that you can have the same experience because of that law. Okay, can a, a corn of wheat Unless a corn of wheat, sorry, falls in the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. And I know that there are many who are going to come forth from this work that I'm doing here right now and have many mystical experiences because I want to have had many mystical experiences. And if you have that deep in you calling for the deep and that deep in me is shouting to you, definitely that deep in you will respond to that deep also. And I'm speaking from experience. There's no theory in what I am speaking about. So, my brother, my sisters, when you look around and you see all the things that are happening in the world right now, it all, the whole agenda is to stop you from having this inner eruption of self. It is all about keeping you still asleep, keeping you in the valley of dry bones. But I'm saying to you, it is high time for you to wake up, believe in yourself, Accept yourself and realize that God in man is man's imagination. So with that being said, my brother, my sisters, just as Abdullah would have encouraged Neville Gallen to believe in himself and to use his imagination to create his reality consciously. And then later on, Neville says he had this inner eruption experience and I would have come and have that same experience. I'm saying to you that you are on the right path. Just continue to believe in yourself. So with that being said, my brother, my sisters, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraged you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. And if you are interested in Patreon, being a part of the Patreon, I would have started posting up some videos dealing with the inner sun science and technology showing you how to use inner sun engineering to create your reality consciously and it is very much needed in this time where bill gates and the many others have this agenda to dim the sun or to block the light of the sun for as um, i would have said in a, in a video before that i've had these 11, I think it's 11 um, messages concerning the inner sun science and technology for over a year and one month. Okay, it was back in March 2020 and you know my intuition was just telling me not to post it this time, not to post it this time, not to post it this time because I was going to do a course on it. Okay, and my intuition tell me not to post it this time, not to post it and I was just waiting, waiting, waiting and then I seize the moment when I see what Bill Gates and it and the others are really trying to do my spirit tell me this is the time to equip uh, the people with this kind of knowledge of the inner sun science and technology okay and and the pageant is for people who are willing to donate twenty dollars or more okay they would have access to the information and the, and the videos i would have posted up the introduction and i'm gonna post up every day one video and after that i'm gonna continue the teaching and that so the inner sun science and technology teaching all of it will be done and my passion so be part of greatness my brothers and my sisters be part of a science and technology 
that was always known to our ancestors way back in antiquity. So, my brother and my sister, with all of that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.